Hello everyone! Today I would like to show you how to create geodatabases and yeah, geodatabases are very interesting and especially if you would like to create or you have to administer a larger or longer lasting project. So geodatabases helps you to get an overview of your data, of the management of your data. And also it is very important um, to maybe distribute your data and therefore geodatabases are the best basis. So um, first of all we'll start with the ARC catalog. As you can see we have here chapter number 14. There is a folder called my data. There's nothing available in that. So we'll create a new geo geodatabase and this is a personal geodatabase. Uh, you can also have these ARC server geodatabases. I think I will like to cover that with a new a playlist afterwards. So this is a new JO database and we will give it a name. The name should be city data. City data dot uh, GDB and MDB, sorry for that, and we'll just enter that. So this is it. This is a geo database. It was very easy. Well the video isn't finished now. So what we need to do is we need to we need some data in it so you can double click in it there's nothing in it there's no real properties for that one so well it's just a container somehow so what we will do is um we'll get to this um you can right click on that and you can import feature classes single and multiple and this is what i would like to show you so um we will import now data to this geo database and in the first first start. The input features were chosen in the folder chapter 14. There's the data. Here in the parcels are there. Uh, well, I think these are some, maybe probably some layer files. I'm not sure about that. So we will concentrate on the polygon or coverages maybe and we will create a new output feature class which is called parcels parcels and we will all also use all of these um, attributes here so this is it for the moment okay Or feature class to feature class is now taking place. So we're just copying something like um, this file or this data to our geo database. So parcels is in our database. What else do we need? You can have a look on the preview of the parcels. So this is, this is it, and the contents you you have uh, you can see here. What else will we do now? We will import multiple files. These files are sad uh, or are fire hydrants and water whale wolves wolves, and yeah. So we would like to import these as well. These are shapefiles and just press OK. So there we are, we have now three um three files available or three layers available in our geo database can easily drag and drop them where you need them and we'll go into the folder just to show you how this is uh, this looks in the Explorer so we are now having here only our MDB which is a Microsoft Ac um, which can be opened with Microsoft Access which looks like uh, well I'm trying it now and there we go just have a look on that in the Access interface
this is now also a very small one with only 2.4 megabytes okay we have a lock on that uh, on that file oh what the fuck and here you can see now all the information of fire hydrants shape arc number water id and also the x and y coordinates here are the parcels shape index so uh, where are the um where are the probably the uh, coordinates of each feature so you can go through the tables in access as well and yeah so this is it we had now created a geo database and this is here as you can see this is just two files and you can easily um, transport them and you won't lose the overview of the data and this is the corresponding shape files as you can see we have uh, five files per shape file and here's the other ones it's called parcels there are the coverages in it and um, same thing very very hard to get an overview of your, of your data to keep them all together now just imagine you would like to yeah you would like to administrate like 20 of them you will be in a lot of trouble after some weeks thank you very much for watching stay tuned and goodbye